But in terms of the company, the big monolithic structure that is WWE, you have Vince McMahon at the top, then you have a guy called George Barrios and a woman named Michelle Wilson. They are sort of respectively the legal and CEO team. Their, their actual titles were chief financial officer and chief revenue officer. Vince McMahon is the chairman and CEO. And all of a sudden, without any backstage warning, these reports weren't leaked that there was dissension or anything, the second and third most powerful people in WWE as a business have been let go like future endeavored hard, effective immediately, suddenly. Well, I'm sure they were both wished the best of luck in their future endeavors. Actually, I, I hadn't even thought of this. The WWE is not just a creative endeavor, it's a huge business with merchandise, uh, worldwide operations, websites, everything. And all of a sudden, you've gotten rid of the second and third most powerful people just from the business end of things. And as the Super Bowl's this, this Sunday, the XFL is meant to launch the yeah. week after. Vince McMahon's gonna be across that. What a very risky move to get rid of your three top business people and entrust this company and newcomers in one of the largest transitional times in its in its history. I don't know, man. Like th this almost feels like it's above my pay grade of like, you know, of what WWE are thinking with this. But it is a very interesting time. Like it is like you're right. Like the timing of it is very curious. I am so fascinated to see where how Vince is splitting his time, whether he thinks to himself, well, I know what I did wrong the first time. I know where the XFL went wrong the first mm. time. So I'm not gonna make those mistakes again. But is he also gonna be the person who is like, I'm also gonna relinquish my control over the creative side of WWE or the business side of WWE so I can focus on this passion project when we know that <clears throat> he's not been at shows a lot, mm. you know, throughout 2019. He wasn't at backstage at shows a lot but was always still making the final decision over the phone. You know, is, is it, is he gonna let up his power on this? I, as you say, like, are we gonna lose the top three for WWE or are we just still getting the solo one and he is still gonna be across all of it? I don't know. It is, it, it's huge actually. I've, it was big anyway in my head, but the more I think about it, the more, just the, the ramifications are, are enormous. Yeah. Wow. Well, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. This is, it's a very interesting subject, one that I, I think, you know, hopefully more people find this as interesting as we do. Yeah.